All right, guys, so I did a test last time draining the battery on the uh, S7 Edge versus the Edge Plus. The results were amazing, amazing. Uh, I highly recommend checking that video on my channel. So if you're wondering about how much battery you're getting from the S7 Edge, that video will help. So today, since I got now the uh, S7, you know, I thought why not doing a battery draining test between the S7, the S7 Edge, and the Edge Plus. So basically what I'm going to do is the same, the same thing I did last time. I'm going to be playing uh, YouTube videos. I'm going to start right now. I left all three phones charging overnight. They are off right now. We're going to turn on the phones, start a timer, play YouTube videos. I'm going to leave each phone in the... Uh, power saving mode and also the auto brightness so i don't know we'll see what happens guys uh, there you have it pretty amazing results uh, so we got I think it was uh, a little over seven hours on the uh, edge plus uh, here on the i7 uh, I think it was uh, a little over 10 hours and over 12 hours on the uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 so definitely the winner the winner I think from every phone that I have reviewed in terms of battery life I have not seen anything yet like this so uh, over 12 hours with the screen time on playing YouTube videos so uh, but even the uh, S7 I mean really really good results you know for the size of the phone and you're getting over 10 hours uh, continuously playing YouTube videos with the screen time on that's a really really good time and the battery on the uh, S7 it's a uh, 3000 milliamp battery same size and the uh, Edge Plus uh, so as you guys can see, obviously, uh, there is some improvement, serious improvement in terms of the battery. So you're getting three hours extra on the S7 and you're getting uh, five hours plus extra on the S7 Edge. Give me your thoughts or your comments and I will see you guys later. Peace out.